Hello and welcome to this session on Java beginner tutorial. So we are going to start with a series on Java which will be very basic. We will start with very basic beginner tutorial and we will start from scratch and go up. So this will be all about Java and Java programming language. So in this session we are going to learn what Java is. We will look at a very simple architecture of Java and then we will look at some IDEs where we will write our Java programs and execute it. So let us begin and let us begin with what Java is. So Java is a programming language and it was developed at Sun Microsystems and the person who created Java was James Gosling and he started on this project of uh, on Java on 1991 and on, in 1995 uh, Java was officially released so there have been so many upgradations since then, then. and uh, Java is a platform independent language so the programs that you write on Java can be executed on any operating system so let us look at the architecture and the main feature of Java will be it is platform independent so if I have to uh, show you how exactly a Java program is compiled and executed so you can see this simple diagram this is our Java program and we will write all our coding here when we compile our Java program it gets converted into byte code now byte code is something which can be understood by the machine and because this byte code is platform independent it can be executed on any operating system and the reason why it becomes uh, platform independent is because there is a Java virtual machine sitting between our byte code and the operating system to make it more clear let us look at this particular architecture and diagram so again as we saw this is our code which will be a dot java program file when we compile it it will get converted into a byte code which will be a dot class file and a file with a dot class extension okay and then we will have jvm running on our machines and this will this byte code will talk to the jvm java virtual machine so irrespective of the operating system you are on whether you are on windows mac or linux it will not matter because you will have jvm sitting at the top of your operating system and all the talking between the byte code and the machine will happen through jvm so this makes uh, java platform independent and that is the major feature of java you can create your programs on any operating system any machine and then you can take it to any other operating system and execute it okay so uh, this was about a very simple architecture and we will go deeper into the coming sessions and if we talk about IDE for Java so IDE is the integrated development environment So this means that whenever we write our Java program, we need some uh, kind of editor or some environment where we can do the programming and development. Now having said that, we can even create Java programs in a simple notepad or textpad and execute it over the JVM and we will see how to do that in our next sessions. But still we need some good IDE which provides us all the features to uh, create efficient Java programs. So if I uh, go to the browser Google and I say ID for Java uh, you can see this there is a site which is showing us top 11 free ID for Java coding development and programming. If I go here you will get a list of all the IDs available there is NetBeans, there is Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA and so on. So uh, you can use any of these IDEs. In our sessions we will cover some of the very basic and commonly used IDEs and we will start with Eclipse because Eclipse is most commonly used for Java development. So we'll start with Eclipse. We'll also look at some other IDEs in our coming sessions and we will go from scratch in Java programming and we will learn the object oriented concepts as well. So this was all about beginning and in the next sessions we will go deeper into Java programming. 
hope you like it thank you